Yeah, All good. Right. It is January 13th, 2024, Washington State caucuses in the 48th district. I am putting in my vote for Donald Trump. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Vote for Heinz channel. I'm Matthew Heinz. I'm a candidate for the United States Congress in Washington State. I am a MAGA Republican, and I am going to go to the United States Congress, and I'm going to support our president, Donald Trump. Now, the first thing I want to tell you and tell everybody is, yes, I am back. I am back, and I am officially in the race. I will have my website up to speed in a few weeks at voteforheinz.com, so you can go there and you can donate. And yes, this time I am going to be collecting uh, donations for my campaign. All right, the big issue today, I mean, there's a number of them, but politically, this issue with Donald Trump being basically a black lynching of a former American president um, has just become a huge circus with this crazy judge in New York that would not allow any evidence into his courtroom that might exonerate Donald Trump and basically shut down everything the uh, defense attorney was going to say. Now, let me just tell you, if you don't know it, I went through the same thing in 2019, 2020, 2021. For 18 months, I was charged with um, assault after I was assaulted. And I'm not going to say what the motivations were for the district attorney, but you can see all of this in I Fought the Deep State and I Won, which is available on Amazon. But I've been through all of this. I have been um, taken to court and persecuted by Redmond, Washington, by King County, Washington, because of my political views. And this person that assaulted me, nothing was ever done to him. The policeman that filed the false police report and the people that were involved that all filed false police reports, nothing, nothing was ever done to them. So Donald Trump, President Trump, I can relate, but this is the issue, the broader issue that doesn't have anything to do with President Trump. This has to do with you and I. The fact of the matter is, Fannie Willis is ignorant. She is ignorant of the law. She is as stupid as she is fat. And nobody seems to be calling her out that, how can you be breaking the law so blatantly unless either she's a complete criminal or she doesn't understand the law? Now, I think if she was a complete criminal, then I she would have been caught committing crimes before, so I don't think that's the issue. The issue with Letitia James in New York and with Big Fanny is these people do not know the law. And furthermore, they do not have proper educations. And furthermore, 38% now of our population is functionally illiterate, 38%. How can you have a democracy where 38% of the people don't even understand the issues that they're voting on? I don't know what you're concerned about, but we had an election that was stolen from our legitimate president and nobody said anything. Why? Because in the world of the stupid, the ultimate good is what you lie to me and say you're going to do for me. And then when you don't do it, well, at least they didn't get the orange man in there. So you have an entire country that said nothing and even applauded the fact that an election was stolen from our legitimate president. And people think, well, it's OK because of this. Well, really, it's okay because the TV tells me it's okay. And that is the greater problem. A functionally illiterate population, lying media, and what's going to happen in the future? What's going to happen when they come after you because of your race? 
because you have something they want, because they just don't like you, because you said something, or because, you know, maybe you opened your mouth and they didn't like it. Maybe you tried to tell the truth. Well, if you think that this ends with me and you think this ends with President Trump, you're crazy because until we start pushing back and saying, no, if you don't know how to do the job, if you can't read or you can't write or you don't understand the law, you're not going to get that position just because you're going to threaten legal action or because of the color of your skin. We are going to move back to a meritocracy or we will not survive. There will be no preferred classes in a Matthew Hines America. Everybody is equal. Everybody's the same. So that is my take on what is happening to President Trump. And I would encourage you to support him and to support me so that I can go to the Congress and support our President Trump. Thank you for your time. And we'll see you on the next update. And on the next date update, we're going to be talking about what is this immigration and border crisis really about? And let me remind you that when I started running in 2018, I said freeze immigration until we figure out what we're going to do with all these illegals. And people laughed at me. Well, who's laughing at you now? All right. We'll talk to you next time. Be careful out there. See ya. My name is Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath, and I'm here to defend my state. Congressman Susan Del Bendy has been in office since 2012, using her substantial financial resources thanks to Microsoft and her $84 million fortune, she has been able to continually maintain an office where people still have little idea what she's done. Well, she's learned to dance around and she's learned to do all the political maneuvers you have to do to keep getting reelected.